Malware Malware is bad software designed to harm your computer or steal your information. It includes things like viruses, trojans, and ransomware. Think of it as a digital disease that infects your computer. Spyware Spyware secretly watches what you do on your computer and sends that information to the hacker. It can track your keystrokes, catch your screenshots, or even turn on your webcam without you knowing. Trojan Horse a Trojan horse is software that looks useful or fun but hides harmful code. Once you install it the hidden malware inside can take over your computer. It's like opening a friendly looking gift that has a nasty surprise inside. Ransomware Ransomware locks up your files or system and demands money to unlock them. It's like a digital kidnapper holding you data hostage until you pay a ransom. Worms Worms are programs that copy themselves and spread across networks without any help from you. They move from computer to computer causing damage along the way like a digital pest infestation. Phishing Phishing is when hackers trick you into giving them your personal information by pretending to be someone you trust, like your bank or a social media site. They might send you fake emails or messages that look real but aren't. Spear Phishing Spear phishing is a more targeted version of phishing. Instead of sending out generic fake messages, hackers aim their attacks at specific people or companies. They often know a lot about their target making their messages even more convincing. Whaling Whaling is phishing for the big fish, important people like CEOs or executives. Hackers craft highly personalized messages to trick these high-profile targets into revealing sensitive information. Cross-Site Scripting XSS XSS is when hackers put harmful code into a website which then runs in your browser. When you visit this can steal your information or hijack your session. SQL Injection SQL Injection is a trick hackers use to get into a website's database by inserting malicious code. This can let them steal change or delete data. It's like finding a backdoor into a secure building. Brute Force Attack Brute Force Attacks are all about guessing passwords. Hackers try every possible combination until they get the right one. It's like trying every key on a keying until you find the one that opens the door. Denial of Service DOS and Distributed Denial of Service DDoS These attacks flood a website or network with so much traffic that it crashes and stops working. Credential Stuffing Hackers use stolen usernames and passwords from one site to try and log into other sites, betting that people use the same passwords everywhere. Man in the Middle Attack In this attack hackers secretly intercept communication between two parties, they can steal or change the information being exchanged, like someone eavesdropping on your phone call and altering what's being said. Social Engineering Social engineering tricks people into giving away their personal information or doing something they shouldn't. Hackers might pretend to be someone you trust or create a sense of urgency to get you to act quickly. Zero-Day Exploit A zero-day exploit takes advantage of a security flaw that no one knew about before. It's like discovering and using a secret weak spot in a fortress before anyone else realizes it's there. Keylogging Keyloggers record everything you type on your keyboard, capturing passwords and other sensitive info. It's like having someone secretly watching over your shoulder and writing down everything you say. DNS Spoofing DNS spoofing tricks your computer into connecting to a fake website instead of the real one. It's like changing the road signs to send you to the wrong place without you knowing. Session Hijacking Session hijacking takes over a user session after they've logged into a secure system. Hackers can then pretend to be that user and access their data. Watering hole attack In a watering hole attack hackers infect a website that a particular group of people often visit. When the group members visit the website, their computers get infected. It's like poisoning a common drinking spot to affect everyone who goes there. Rootkits 
Rootkits are programs that give hackers control over your computer without you knowing. They hide deep within your system making them hard to detect. Clickjacking Clickjacking hides malicious actions under legitimate buttons or links on a website. When you click, you end up doing something harmful without realizing it. It's like placing a fake button over a trapdoor. Cryptojacking Cryptojacking secretly uses your computer's resources to mine cryptocurrency. You might not even notice except that your computer is running slower. Eavesdropping Eavesdropping attacks listen in on private communication stealing information as it's sent. Exploit Kits Exploit Kits are tools that automate the process of finding and exploiting vulnerabilities in software. Hackers use these kits to launch multiple attacks quickly. Rogue Software Rogue software pretends to be helpful like fake antivirus programs, but it's actually harmful it tricks you into installing it and then causes damage or steals your data. Drive-by download Drive-by downloads happen when you visit a compromised website and malicious software is downloaded to your computer without your knowledge. It's like stepping on a nail while walking and getting hurt without realizing it. Firmware hacking Firmware hacking targets the low-level software that controls hardware components. It can give hackers deep access to your system. Botnets Botnets are networks of infected computers controlled by hackers. They can be used to launch large-scale attacks or send out spam emails. Backdoor a backdoor is a hidden way into a system that bypasses normal security checks. Hackers use backdoors to sneak in without setting off alarms. Password spraying Password spraying is when hackers try a few common passwords on many accounts instead of trying many passwords on one account. It's like testing a few popular keys on many locks hoping one will fit. Cross-site request forgery CSRF it tricks you into performing actions on a website you're logged into without your knowledge. It's like having someone for your signature to authorize a transaction. Privilege Escalation Privilege escalation is when hackers gain higher access levels than they're supposed to have. This can allow them to control more of the system. It's like finding a janitor's key that opens all the doors in a building. Command Injection Command injection lets hackers run dangerous commands on a server by exploiting poorly coded applications. It's like finding a way to slip instructions to a machine that it wasn't meant to follow. Shoulder surfing Shoulder surfing is the simple act of looking over someone's shoulder to see what they're typing or viewing. Bluejacking Bluejacking sends unsolicited messages to Bluetooth-enabled devices. It doesn't steal information but can be annoying and intrusive. It's like slipping note to someone without their consent seen. Blue Snarfing Blue Snarfing is the unauthorized access of information from a Bluetooth-enabled device. Hackers can steal contacts, messages, or files without you knowing. Session Fixation Session fixation forces a user to use a specific session ID which the hacker can then hijack. It's like assigning someone a ticket that you can later claim and use yourself. Swapping SIM Swapping tricks your phone provider into transferring your phone number to a hacker SIM card. This lets them intercept your messages and calls. Jailbreaking routing Jailbreaking or routing removes software restrictions on a device giving the user or hacker full control over the system. Thank you for watching, stay secure and follow for more cybersecurity updates.